Today, I'm going to give you my top five changes with the Python 3.9 update. All of the information in this video can be found at docs.python.org 3.9 slash what's new, which I have linked in the description. If you are interested in more details, I highly recommend that you check this out. Updates to Python are exciting to me because I love that there are continual efforts to make the language better and better. There's a reason Python is so popular. Without further ado, let's get into the top five changes. Number five, new functions in the curses module. This module, which allows a user to interact with the curses library for portable advanced terminal handling, added curses.getEscapeDelay, curses.setEscapeDelay, curses.getTabSize, and curses.setTabSize functions. I love to see new features being added. Number four, pretty print can now pp print the type dot simple namespace. Dictionaries were sorted by key before the display was computed, but now this has changed in version 3.9 because it added support for pretty printing types dot simple namespace. Pretty print is a nice luxury and I'm glad to see it's becoming more robust. Number three, exchanging the split method of tkinter.tcap type in favor of the split list method, which has more consistencies and predictable behavior. This is just out with the old and in with the new. Number two, in the random module, seeds will now be restricted to none, int, float, string, bytes, and byte array to avoid indeterministic hash values. This may not seem like a big deal, but it is to me. This is logical and probably should have been changed some time ago. And finally, number one, an import error instead of a value error for invalid import attempts. I always appreciate more specific error messages. This helps alleviate some pain of debugging. Who doesn't want that? The quicker we are at finding mistakes, the better programmers we become. So there you have it. Those are my top five changes in the Python 3.9 update. Did I miss any that you really like? Comment below. This time around, there were not many changes, so the list was actually pretty small. Again, I invite you to check out the full list at docs.python.org 3.9 slash what's new. It is linked in the description. It will provide you with greater detail and information. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos on Python, check out this playlist. It's full of all kinds of Python tutorials like this one.